What's up MC Gearheads, this is Will and today we're going to be taking you through the details of the all new AI-1 airbag vest from Klein. First off, the overall look of this vest is very slim. It is designed with stretch mesh material around the torso for a snug fit. This airbag is meant to be worn under most jackets, so this more slender style gives the rider a comfortable feel while having this extra layer on. If we take a look at the front of the vest, we can see the large in and motion airbag sections that run from the bottom of the vest to the neck and then carry over to the rear. This airbag placement immobilizes your neck while also you keeping your chest well protected. We can also see more stretch mesh panels that make this vest very breathable. Moving to the back of the vest, we see the continuation of panels from the front and this external hard shell which houses the in and box system which acts as the brain of this airbag system. If we unzip this back panel, we find the integrated CE back protector and the argon canister which acts as the inflation device for this system. The integrated back protector will offer protection even without inflation. Climb's main focus for this vest was to have the first continually evolving crash protection technology driven by artificial intelligence. Climb's accomplished this by partnering with In, -In Motion for the detection module working off their In, -In Box DPP platform. The algorithm will be continuously updated with the latest information from other users' experience with the vest. The system collects the expanded data of all users in order to build a finder detection system where protection performance is always optimized. These updates are over the air via the My In, -In Box app which is available for both iOS and Android devices. This app allows automatic downloads for updates and the transfer of data from your rides, which help train the AI. It also monitors the inflator connection status, as well as having a real-time battery percentage tracker. While it is helpful to have your in box system connected to the app, it is not necessary for it to detect your movements and trigger the airbag inflation. The in box system measures the position of the rider a thousand times per second and the system can detect any unrecoverable imbalance as well as use the sensors to anticipate an impact to command the airbag to inflate. When gauging an impact, the in and box system can detect a fall when a motorcycle hits a vehicle at a speed higher than 16 miles per hour with an angle between 45 and 135 degrees at the time of impact. You will need to make sure that you keep your control module charged just like you would do with your cell phone. It does take about three hours to fully charge, which will net you around 20 hours of ride time usage. You can easily check the current battery percentage with the different light indicators, as well as a live tracker using the app. This vest has an incredibly fast response time when triggered to inflate. From the time the system is triggered to inflation is less than 60 milliseconds. That is quite literally faster than the blink of an eye, which takes around 100 milliseconds. This quick inflation will make sure that critical areas like the thorax, abdomen, neck, and spine are all protected in the event of a crash. The gas used to inflate this system is argon, which is stored in a canister and is replaceable. You can replace the argon canisters at a cost of $99.99 each, and the vest can inflate up to three times before it needs to be inspected by Climb, so you don't have to worry about sending it in after every deployment, assuming the vest and you are still intact after a crash. You can also check the integrity of the airbags yourself in the field by using a special Schrader fitting and a compressed air source. Choosing a size in this vest is pretty straightforward. Being a vest without sleeves, the only two size or measurement concerns are the chest and the belly. Climb recommends using their standard size chart to choose a size based upon your chest and max belly measurements. While most people will wind up choosing the size they usually wear in men's clothing, I'd recommend using a tape and the chart we have on the product page to make size selection since Climb's sizing scheme can vary just a bit from the standard men's sizing. For Climb, the size large is exactly what you'd expect with a 44 max inch chest. The smaller sizes are a bit smaller than normal and the bigger sizes are a bit bigger than normal. For example, a men's size medium usually is styled with a 42 inch max chest and Climb's medium is about a 40 inch max chest. Same goes for the larger sizes. A 2XL is typically a 48 inch max chest, but Climbs is a 52 inch max chest. Be sure you are happy with the fit of the vest before you start setting up the in box system. Once you know the vest size you need, you'll need to verify the jacket or jackets you plan to wear over the vest have sufficient room to allow the airbag to deploy. 
Looser fitting jackets such as the majority of Climb Streetwear will probably be just fine since the overall fit is made to be relatively loose. But you may find that some of your jackets fit too snug to meet the recommended size criteria. Basically you need about 5 inches difference between the max stretch measurement of your jacket and the size of your own body. Climb suggests measuring your chest and belly without the vest and dividing by two. For me, I have a 36 inch chest and a 35 inch belly. So 71 divided by two gives us 35.5 inches. We divide by two so we have a two dimensional number for comparison with the jacket on a flat surface. We'll call this measurement A. Next, take the jacket you intend to wear over the vest, lay it on a smooth flat surface and measure from armpit to armpit and across the belly with the jacket stretched taut. We'll show you how to measure with this climb latitude jacket. The size medium has a max measure from armpit to armpit of 22 inches. Measuring at the belly of the jacket, a few inches from the bottom depending on the jacket length, a sport jacket could be measured closer to the bottom of the jacket for example. We see this jacket is 20 inches at the navel or belly. So if we take these two measurements and add them together, we get 42. We'll call this measurement B. Finally, to figure out if this jacket will work with the airbag vest, as intended, we have to subtract A, the measurement of the body the vest is going to be on, from B, the max stretch of the jacket intended to be worn over the vest. So for this, the climb latitude medium jacket, we have a B measurement of 42 inches, and my A measurement is 35.5 inches. So that comes out to 6.5 inches when subtracted. Since we have over 5 inches of space, this jacket will work just fine in a deployment. If the difference were less than 5 inches, we would know that the jacket is too tight for the airbag to correctly deploy, and we'd have to buy a new jacket to go with the airbag vest or hit the gym, but I think a new jacket is probably easier. I'm wearing the size large vest. Let's see how it works with a few different jacket styles. For example, let's use this climb latitude jacket in medium that we measured before. I typically wear a size medium in this jacket and after measuring we know that there is a sufficient room for deployment. We have left the included D3O back protector in this jacket just so you see that it works with the vest. But if you are wearing the airbag vest, you could remove the integrated D3O back protector from the jacket. You can see that the size medium jacket fits over the airbag vest without being too loose. Now we will inflate the vest and see how the jacket handles the expansion. Hopefully we measured well. As you can see, there is still a little room in this jacket, so it performs well. We measured these other items off camera, but followed the same method to determine if they would work as described earlier. For a mesh jacket, we have chosen the Revit Eclipse jacket in size large. I typically wear a medium in this jacket, but in order to fit this airbag vest, I had to size up, which in a European fitting jacket like Revit, that is no surprise. It fits over the airbag vest without being too loose. Now we will inflate the vest and see how the jacket handles the expansion. As you can see, there's still a little room in this jacket. And it looks like uh, we didn't have any blowouts, so that's good. For a cruiser leather jacket, we have chosen the Climb Sixer jacket. Now Climb is an American fit, so I can stick with my normal size in this style as well. European brands like Alpenstar or Dionese often incorporate stretch panels for airbags. So depending on the style of jacket you have, you might be able to get away with the size you normally wear. The Sixer jacket from Climb does not include any armor since it is a cruiser style, but let's see how it performs. Once again, we see that the jacket has been stretched to just about the max, but it is still in one piece and hopefully still in line if this ever deploys in action. To show you how it looks when the vest is deployed, I'm going to go ahead and put this helmet on and I'm going to deploy it for you. Now my head can still move a little, 
but not to the extremes that would cause an injury. The airbag remains inflated after it deploys until you remove the argon canister so you have the coverage throughout the crash and all your pieces stay in the right place and your head remains immobilized in the event you lose consciousness or need medical assistance. Let's take a look at the argon canister after deployment. Opening this rear panel, we see the connector for the in box system to the argon canister has disconnected. We can unscrew the canister and make sure we get all of the air out of the vest. Once we are happy with how the airbags sit in the vest, we can insert a new argon canister and reattach the connection to the in and box system. Now to the subscription process. Upon purchasing the vest itself, you will be required to register the in and box module that comes with the vest. The subscription makes the system itself functional and is how you get all the updates for the system. At the time of filming this video, there are three different options you can choose for registering this system. The first two options are fairly similar subscription-based registration options. You can choose to pay either $12 a month or go with the $120 a year option. Either option gets you an unlimited in-box warranty, anytime cancellation, access to VIP support services, and a new in-box system after three years, as well as the option to purchase the service for $99 for life at that time. The third option is one flat rate of $399. This option includes only a two-year warranty and the standard classic support services. You will not receive a new in-box system after three years with this option. All three of these in-box options do include the continuous algorithm updates as well as access to the mobile app dashboard interface. With all those pricing options, we think this vest is fairly competitively priced. The in box service allows for ongoing oversight and full service from the manufacturer after your purchase. The subscription service allows for a lower upfront price, but you pay up over the life of the garment. And in motion defends the additional cost by saying they have delivered the largest number of smart airbags for motorcyclists. Their airbag system is the only one to get 5 out of 5 at the SRA test and their detection strategy is based on the largest and fastest growing database of more than 9 million miles collected on 10,000 real motorcyclists on track and street use. We agree that that is all great, but everyone has their own opinion. Some people will choose a mechanical system like the Helite vest so they don't have to worry about the technology aspect. And in motion warns that lanyard triggered vests might not inflate in time for first impact. For what it's worth, we think the system has several factors that make it worth considering. First, you do have the benefit of their ever increasing data that makes the vest smarter with each update. Second, you get a low intro price and a manageable ongoing one, so some riders who don't want to go all out on the more expensive options in the airbag arena have a way to get the protection of an airbag. Third, this vest is compatible with any jacket brand as long as you follow the sizing guidelines. That opens up the protection of airbag technology to a much larger group of riders. Let us know what you think of this new setup from Climb and In In Motion by sounding off in the comments below. Be honest with your feedback because we want to hear what you think. Well that's all that we have for you today, but before we go we want to hear from you guys. So we wanted to ask you guys, what is one of your favorite riding memories? We'll select our three favorite comments to be featured in the next video. Be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications to be up to date on all of our future uploads. Keep the conversation rolling on all our other social media channels, which will be linked in the description below. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you all down the road in the next video.